Yo, what's up everyone? Today we're up riding at Mount Norquay in Banff, Alberta, Canada. And in this video, I've got five ways to know if you're an intermediate level snowboarder. I'll run through all the different skills. And if you don't quite have some of these skills, I'll also give you some tips so that you can get to that intermediate level. So the first way to tell if you're an intermediate is that you're able to link your turns and link them pretty fluidly with your snowboard, staying on a bit of an angle. So each turn should be level and you should be able to control your speed evenly on your heels and on your toes, having a good rhythm to your turns. A common problem is having a shorter toe turn and a longer heel that can end you up being sideways on your board. So to fix this problem, just count in your head to three through each turn. One, two, three. And then especially on the toes, one, two, three. And think of spraying a bit of snow out the side of each turn to make them level and keep that rhythm and flow going. The next skill you should have as an intermediate snowboarder is the ability to change the size of your turns. So through here, I'm going to ride and keep my turns pretty tight and quick. And the way to make these quick turns is by really steering with your knees and keeping your edge to edge transfer fairly quick. Then you can move into some more medium sized turns. And now I'm riding my snowboard's edge on an angle at the end of each turn, just helping to scrub some speed and keep that momentum flowing from turn to turn. And then finally, doing some bigger turns. So not necessarily carving, but just able to traverse back and forth, forth across the run, maintaining your speed, but also adjusting to some flatter terrain by making your turns bigger. So as an intermediate rider, if you can adjust the size and shape of your turns, that's a really important skill to have. They have some nice views here at Norquay. Wow. The next ability you should have as an intermediate snowboarder is the ability to ride through some uneven and bumpy terrain. And you don't have to be riding aggressively or doing a lot of turns, but just being able to use your knees, absorb the bumps, and comfortably get through some uneven terrain. Riding this type of terrain is also a good prep for venturing off the runs, getting into powder, and doing tree runs, and things that are off just the normal groomed even runs. If you're not comfortable doing uneven terrain, a few things you can work on. One is just using your knees to absorb all the bumps in the snow. So as I go across, I'm gonna bend my front knee and then bend my back knee and use my knees independently to absorb all the undulations in the snow. The other thing you can do is don't try to make your turns too tight through uneven terrain. It's okay to traverse take it a little bit wide, and then as you get more comfortable, that's when you can start making your turns more narrow. So a good intermediate skill to have is being able to ride uneven and bumpy terrain. Another skill you wanna have as intermediate is the ability to make a turn on some steep terrain. So this is like a fairly steep blue run, maybe even a mellow black and the ability just to make a turn and slide, get back in control, and then turn and then slide, get back in control is an important skill to have. If you're not able to make a turn on a steep run like this, something that can help is to reach your hand towards the snow in front of you. That'll help get your weight forward. So slow yourself down first, reach in front of you, and that will help your tail slide around quickly. The biggest difference between intermediate and advanced on steep terrain is intermediates, you're just gonna be doing one turn at a time and sliding compared to advanced riders who have a more of a flow to their riding. So something that you can work on to become advanced. 
The last skill you want to have as an intermediate snowboarder is the ability to ride with a little bit of speed. So here we've got a mellow green run and the ability to be consistent with your speed, ride into the direction you want to go. So let's say if I want to head over to the right, being able to maintain my speed, traverse across, being able to read the terrain ahead of me so that I can get to where the area that I want to go to. So it's a really important skill to have if you're intermediate to be able to read terrain and maintain your speed through some of the flatter sections as well. I hope you found this video helpful for putting all your intermediate skills together. Big shout out to Mount Norquay for having us. If you guys have any questions about intermediate, let me know down below in the comments. I'll also put a link here to the advanced version of this video. Hope you're having a great time out there snowboarding. Catch you in the next video.